Hi guys and welcome, my name's Chris with Raid Channel Legends, uh, so let's continue with this uh, guide. <clears throat> uh, so we just logged on, this is our day three, so we're getting a pair of lifestyle gloves uh, from the new player reward. Uh, so let's grab that, brilliant. <clears throat> this is going to help a bit later on, we also got our daily longer reward, our day three, this is a, a, a ring. Uh, okay, that's like four rings. <clears throat> okay, and then the monetization pains that pop up. Uh, this gets a little bit annoying because there's quite a few of them. Um, okay, we've also got an update. It says it's coming soon. Once in a generation, summoners must stand and prove themselves against Teleria's most brutal tests. Tests that only the strongest will conquer, but you will not stand alone with new allies to aid your cause. Will you be victorious? Prepare yourselves. Okay, this is an old one. We've had all these as well, so... Uh, okay. Um, and you can get back to these in the news page and here you can see ones that you've read and ones that you haven't read we're just going to click all these uh, so we get rid of that red bubble that's uh, appears there um, okay so uh, so we could carried on with the campaign but as far as we could um, after making that adjustment in the last video Obviously, we weren't able to get any ascensions because they were all locked for us at that time. Um, we didn't get any masteries because we didn't stick to it. We didn't uh, get any more scrolls. Um, but we've just been progressing through on leveling up our champions. Oh, sorry, I just had to take a drink then. I'm getting a bit... Uh, or it's getting a bit... Uh, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm getting a bit bunged up at the minute, so. Um, okay. Uh, so we've got this far. We've got to Act 7. On. Uh, so we're stuck on state, stage, six at, stage 6 at the minute. We're unable to get any further with our current position. Uh, and as we've been going along, we have been uh, champions of uh, max level. Uh, Kale's at level 30, War Priest is at level 30, and the two other champions we've been using are Crusader, who's at level 20, and Sniper, who's at level 20. Um, so, with their gears as well, the gears have still been the same as what they were last time. Uh, I might bump these up to 8, I'm not too sure whether we've done that last time or not, just to get a bit more damage out. Uh, those are exactly the same. The only difference is Crusader, we've kind of uh, acquired some. Uh, offense sets and uh, crit rate sets and this is just uh, from going back th to the campaign for those specific levels to uh, farm those gear pieces uh, to give us a bit more damage with this guy and help us progress a little bit further and we've you know uh, bumped them up to four and some of them up to eight uh, just to get some extra stats we hadn't got the ones we wanted we wanted a three star chest for protect percentage uh, but we have to stick with a two star um, but it's still, still kind of like the same setup, speed, attack percentage, and we've gone with attack percentage again because that's what dropped for us. Yeah, but it's all a damage increase. Um, and one thing I didn't mention last time as well, um, if you go into these champions and you're unsure what gear sets to go for to start off with, um, if you click in this little reviews button here, it's going to give you reviews of players who have leveled these up to uh, uh, 6 star I believe. And then rate them based on locations. Um, so if they're green, that's generally uh, like an okay champion. Um, if they're 4.8 to 5, they are extremely good in that area of the game. Um, and remember, these are just uh, player reviews as well. So anything that's on there, just uh, take it with a pinch of salt. It's not necessarily set in stone. Uh, and then if you click this tab up here, it's recommended artifacts. So this is also another good way. If you are if you don't know what to gear that champion, you can always click on this for a little bit of guidance on what you sh should kind of be aiming for. Um, again, these are not always um, the be all and end all of artifact uh, sets for your champion, but they're just a little guide on what to aim for. Uh, but you can see on this, it's recommended in here as well. We've got spoot, uh, boots with speed, uh, attack percentage on chests and then crit rate on gloves uh, and this is two piece offense set and one piece crit rate set 
Um, if we click on this champion, this is a support champion, this is our healer. Uh, so again, if we go in there, we can see the reviews, recommended artifacts. This is uh, a lot more, um, <clears throat> a bit slightly different. So we've got speed sets here, two speed sets, one HP set with speed boots, defense chest, and HP gauntlets. This is just uh, to get maximum sp speed and survivability for this champion. Uh, so you want speed on champions like this uh, that do stuff like heal or buff your team because um, you know, the more turns they take, the more heals they get, and that's where their effectiveness comes into play. <clears throat> um, so yeah, there's a few different uh, variations. Well, there's loads of different variations for gears, but if you're if you're always stuck, just click on the reviews. And again, this is just for starting champions from start up to mid game, where you want to be checking these out. Uh, for like start off uh, for a little bit of guidance um, so missions I probably should have selected this for with our XP uh, boost so we could like continue down this list and kind of get some get some of these uh, extra rewards but I didn't I went for the one in the campaign um, in the campaign quest and uh, we got a shard as well so we're gonna collect that um, Okay, so like I said, we're a bit stuck at the minute. Uh, we've unlocked uh, everything on this map uh, through leveling up. Um, the only thing we haven't unlocked is this gem mine. And that takes 500 gems to unlock. Um, first thing you want to be unlocking with your gems is this. As soon as you get 500 gems, come in here and unlock this mine. Because that is going to be a benefit long you play this game we're only at 140 so far but as soon as i get that 500 gems i'm going straight to this mine and unlocking it and this generates uh gems for you it gives them back to you there's a lot of gems to spend um uh, so i believe it might be 500 every level so there's three levels to this gem mine uh as you can see here um yeah, so that's 1,500 gems, and you can get 12 per day from these when they're full, or is it 15? It's, it's one of the two. I think it might be 12. Um, but, you know, after a few months of playing this game, this is going to be, you're going to be getting uh, returns on these gems that you're spending in this mine from then on. And then it's, you know, an extra, like, uh, 12 gems per day, which is always good. Um... So some of the stuff we didn't touch on before, we've got the shop. If you look in the shop, uh, there's all this stuff that you can buy and stuff, but also you get every 24 hours you get a free mystery shard. Let's collect that. And every seven days you get a free ancient shard. So we grab that one as well. Um, we've unlocked the market. If we go in the market, we can see we've got four slots uh, unlocked here. And then we can purchase the rest of these. So I'm going to go ahead and start unlocking some of these. As we've got a bit of silver here, we can splash out, unlocking these. Uh, so this one's going to take gems. Um, so I'm going to hold off on this one for now. Um, and just by looking at this, you can kind of see what uh, items you get from the shop. It's going to be gear items, uh, mystery shards. Occasionally, there will be an ancient shard on there, but they're very rare and they're very expensive. Uh, 200,000 silver. But always worth getting if one pops up and um, uh, champions as well these are going to be one star champions and two star champions um, but mainly we want to keep looking at this for gear you can always get some decent uh, gear that's useful this one isn't so much but uh, you, you can get fine three star or four star gear ones that are rare as well which might have some decent substats on them which could be useful for your for your champions so keep an eye on the on the market. Um, this is the sparring pit. This is something that I didn't invest on on my main account, um, but it could be worth investing for you guys, uh, especially if you're planning on playing this for the long run. Uh, so these are pretty expensive. It's uh, 300 gems to unlock these slots, and then it goes up. It looks like it increases by 50 gems each time. So 350 for the second one. Uh, 400 for the third upgrade potentially i don't know because i haven't done it myself but that's a, a big investment 
but again if you're playing for the for a long period of time if you're planning on sticking it out then this is a good way to save energy later on especially getting champions up from four star uh to five star because you can just stick them in here get a whole row of five champions in here just leave them here in here to level up then you won't have to spend any energy on leveling them up and they should be max level by the time you've got enough champions to feed into these to get your five star champions to make six star champions um okay this is the portal uh this is where we can use our shards um so there's four different types of shards mystery ancient void and sacred sacreds are going to get you legendaries and epics voids are going to get you rare epic and legendary but of void affinity only um so this is the infinity that's in the middle which doesn't have a strength or a weakness it's just neutral and then we have ancient shards which we have three of which we might summon in a bit actually these will give you rare champions epic champions and legendary champions and mystery shards which are uncommon common and rare if you click on this eye here it will give you a breakdown of your percentage to some of these champions from the shards um, so you can see here ancient and void shards have a 0.5% chance of summoning a legendary and sacred shards have 6% but you're always going to get an epic or higher um, so that's a little bit of a breakdown and these are this is a summon board and then there's a fusion board fusion boards give you champions which you can uh, which are always available to summon uh, so there's two epics in here and a legendary um, if you plan on working towards any of these I would avoid relic keeper for now he is a requirement in, in the mission campaign um, uh, later on in the game so if you fuse him now you're gonna have to fuse another one later to progress so it's uh, you know, you could always. He, it's probably best to save that. Uh, before he was a good champion to get because you didn't have any other free champions from the from the login rewards, but now you do. He's less uh, necessary uh, to get. Uh, Broadmoor, a champion that I probably wouldn't go for. He has some usefulness. He has some revive abilities and a crit rate buff for all allies, and a chance to freeze with a defense in the arena by 33%, but generally not that useful. You can get much better champions than that guy. Uh, Raz and Scarhide is a different story. He is useful and is a champion that you can use in end game. Uh, so if you're gonna work towards fusing anyone, Raz and Scarhide will probably be your go-to champion because um, he does have a, a nice set of skills. He is a, a defensive champion as well, I believe. Uh, yep, and he places, has a chance to place uh, decreased defense and weaken. Um, of the higher version so that's always really good to have and a decreased turn meter as well it removes the buffs so all around generally a good champion to to work towards okay uh, and this is your great hall um so in the arena you earn medals from winning battles in pvp and these can be spent in the great hall um you know as you uh, go up in ranks you need less of that of a, a new tier of emblem to upgrade so currently we need 50 bronze uh, emblem medals to uh are they emblems or medals medals okay so you need 50 bronze medals to upgrade this um so when you get into the silver tier of the pvp you need probably about 25 silver medals to unlock that and then probably like i don't know 10 gold medals to unlock that something like that it decreases as you go up um and these are permanent upgrades to all champions so these are based off affinity so all if you upgraded this all um magic affinity champions will have an extra two percent hp to their stats um if you're going for anything i would highly recommend going for accuracy going down your tree getting all these accuracy skills up to the highest potential you can if you're playing through the campaign i would focus on one first because uh, that's going to get you closer to unlocking the camp uh, the mission quest later on down the line um okay and then we get to the tavern this is what we're going to be using today and this is what we're going to be talking about 
Jesus, it's been 50 minutes already and I've just been talking non-stop. I haven't actually done anything yet. Um, so where we are, we're stuck at our mission, but there are things that we can do to improve our situation. And this is upgrading our champions. So. Um, to do this. I probably haven't got the best champions to uh, to showcase this actually. Uh, so we did get a new rare champion, Gore Mask, which I haven't gone over yet. We got this uh, champion through defeating one of the campaign uh, enemies. Uh, let's take a look at this champion, see if we can use him. Um, so this is an attack type champion, Gore Mask. We can check the reviews. He's got some green reviews, which are kind of average. Um, it looks like he's good in arena, offense, magic keep, campaign locations, uh, dragon's lair, and always oh, got on his peak. Uh, recommended sets, HP, attack, crit rate. Let's check out his skills. Uh, so he attacks one enemy two times. And his second skill attacks one enemy. Damage increases by 20% if this attack is critical. And his third skill... Um, attacks one enemy will ignore shield and block damage at buffs. This champion will receive damage equals ten percent of their max HP. This will happen even if the skill if this kills the champion. So if you send it send the champion to three stars, it will take off that damage received. Um, and we have uh, the aura increases our HP in arena by twenty five percent. Okay, so another example of this recommended. Artifacts. This one is kind of misleading because it has HP set, offensive set, and crit rate set. Same kind of uh, stats, uh, speed boots, attack percentage chest, crit rate, gloves. Uh, but just this HP set here for an attack like champion is based off of uh, this skill, where the damage is based off attack and HP. Uh, once this skill is ascended, it's only based off attack, so that HP becomes useless for that skill um so yeah that's where you just want to have him like full out offensive um all right so we've just peeked into monday now so let's see what dungeons are open uh, so we've got the spirit keep dungeon that's opened do we have any spirit spirit champions uh we do we have this champion and this will heal everyone by 10%. So I think we're going to grab this actually. Uh, so now we can showcase off the uh, the dungeons. Uh, so we're going straight into level 1. Grab these champions. Let's grab a third champion. Um, might as well throw this one in there. Okay, so, so for this is the same again. We've got the two rounds of uh, trash mobs, which just need to take down. He's got a, a buff that blocks damage at the minute. Okay, let's try onto this champion. Uh, now this champion's slightly different. I think this is one that heals. Yes, yeah, so this champion heals by 25, uh, twenty percent of their max HP at the start of each turn. Um, low levels, not too much of an issue because you can DPS it down quickly. Uh, but as you progress, oh, gem mine. I don't know what it's come up for. <laughs> we still need to have 500 gems. Um, but anyway, so we can go straight to the next level since we've defeated this. And take out this, this champion. Oh man, I probably sound like really tired at this point. Um, I've been streaming all day and kind of I wanted to get these videos close together, as close together as possible as well so we can make, uh, okay, so we can really get the full effect of our XP banner that we just, that we popped earlier today. Uh, so I'm trying to use all my energy uh, by gaining XP with campaign missions as much as possible. 
So yeah, I've just been like working on this all day today, so pretty shattered at the minute. Uh, but we can keep going to the next level uh, until we find like that drop off drop off point where we can't go any further. Okay, so you should see the enemy like heal in this one. I don't know if you saw it in the last one, but as soon as she takes a turn, she's gonna heal herself. Um, she's placed a buff on herself as well, which is, I don't know, we killed her. Uh, but it's really good to have a champion that reduces um, the chance to heal on that champion. So let's... We're to the next one. Let's go to the next one. So we should be able to take her down. <clears throat> Even though we're losing some champions. Yeah, so at this point, I probably want to just go in anywhere past this and just kind of like stick into this stage. Or not, uh, maybe even the one before it. If we're just leveling up the first few uh, ascensions and we just want these potions, it's going to be a bit less energy and we're guaranteed to get this potion over the other ones. Um, yeah, probably stick under that level. Uh, and now we need uh, arcane to go along with those those other ones that we got uh, so just same thing again really So I didn't check to see how many we needed for this. Uh, so I'm just gonna head back to the tavern after just to just to have a quick check. And we got a nice ancient shard as well. Um, and a level 20 pack. Thank you. Um, okay, so if we click, <coughs> so I haven't explained the tavern yet. So this is a tavern, this is where you would... What did I? I might have. Uh, so all these um, options on the right are things you can do with your champions, so you can upgrade the level. Which is what we are trying to do, but we need some more... Actually no, it's not what we're trying to do. So basically, if we're upgrading a level, we click on a, a champion. And then we can use these uh, brews to gain XP. I think we went over this a little, little bit by using a different champion. Um, let's level them up. So you can click these ones, which give you 1,600, or use the same Affinity Champion to get a little bit more. Same with the potions. Oh, this is kind of like bugging out. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do that again. Uh, so the Ranger. Uh, if we use a blue potion, we get 12,500. If we use a red potion, we get 18,750, which is you know, a lot more. Um, I feel like that's like a big waste at that level. Uh, so I'm just gonna grab this one and put one brew into her. 
to take it up to level 9. Uh, and then I'm just going to grind the rest of those levels out in the campaign. And then we'll come back and show how to upgrade the rank, which is the next option. Um, so I'll leave this bit for now. But this red dot up here means these are ready to be upgraded to the next rank. Which essentially turns a 2 star into a 3 star champion. And so on, a 3 star into a 4 star. Uh, this tab here upgrades upgrades skills. Um, so we do have some skills, skill books here. Which of course as well is something that's going to improve your champion, it's going to improve their attack damage, it's also going to improve their cooldown rates for some of their skills. Um, and also their heal, which will be useful for this champion. I think we're going to use one, see how it works, so it could be either one of these that it up upgrades. So let's see if we get lucky with this. Okay, so we've got the A1, which is a 5% damage increase for that ability. Um... These are all increased damage uh, stats, damage skills. So I'm going to put a book in this one as well. See what we get. We got a ten percent increased damage on the A3 ability, which is nice. The rest of them are plus five percent. Uh, so I'm going to go back and put the others in War Master because we want the heals from her. That's the damage again. Okay. Not to worry. And then the last tab is Ascend, so this is what we're working on. We're working on Ascending these champions, getting their uh, purple stars. <clears throat> now, when you place a purple star on these champions, it's going to increase their base stats. Uh, so let's do this one. We've got enough potions for the first one. Uh, so their base HP has gone from 1, uh, 6,300 to 6,375. And same with their defense, it's increased a little bit. Um, okay, and we want to take her up to three star because that's when we start unlocking uh, uh, extension to her skill. Okay, so that's going to take a while, so I'm going to be doing that uh, outside of this video. Just farming some more potions for her. Um, but while we can push past this without getting ascensions, I'm going to be working on getting these champions up so we can uh, turn these three stars into four stars. And that's what we're looking to do uh, to do next. Um, okay, so while on the subject as well, we do get these shards. Um, in fact, I'm probably going to save shards to next time. We're going to go into a little bit of an explanation for that about uh, when to save your shards when to use your shards uh, in the most effective way as a free-to-play player um, and when I would use my shards <laughs> because I just I'm, I'm like a little child I can't wait for that stuff um, so again with this stuff we we are stuck here so we're gonna go back a little bit to find the best place we can farm um, at farm champions ones that we can use though we do have a lot of these uh, so I'm going to pop some of these. I'm going to summon 10. The Mystery of Shards, we're going to get Uncommon, Common or Rare. If we get any rares, that's brilliant. Um, but I'm just going to pop some of these so we have actually have some food which we can use. And see if there's anything else that's going to help us out. Nothing in this one apart from this champion here. Uh, so let's go back to the tavern actually and do some ascending um so upgrading skills you can do that with skill books or you can do it with a another copy of that champion so here we have another one so we're going to upgrade this guy's skills by using a crusader upgrade to that champion uh, and then we're gonna yeah, get that skill upgrade for that champion which is brilliant um this one i don't think we're going to be using so we can we're not going to upgrade his skill, uh, but we're going to do some ascending. So these two are like level 20, 20 stars. So we're going to click on our Crusader again, and then we're going to click on upgrade rank. Uh, so for this, we're going to need two two star champions. We've got them here, and we're going to click upgrade. And what that is going to do is change that two star into a three star, which resets the champion back to level one. Um, with reduced stats 
But now we can level up past level 20 to level 30. Like our other champions here. And that's going to mean they're going to get much more, much stronger. But we do the same with Sniper as well. Because we are using her. She is pretty good as a DPSer. Uh, so we've got, <coughs> so we got these to 3 star as well. Um, so, so from here the next thing we'll be to do is level these guys up. Let's go back. Oh, um, while we were doing some of those missions as well, going into the dungeons, we did unlock some challenges. Um, as you can see, we've got some that have been unlocked already. Um, so again, I'll get save that for another video. Because <laughs> um, right now, I just want to focus on getting this uh, XP banner used, used as much as possible. We've got 300 energy. We've got some stuff in here. Got some compensation gifts. Oh yeah, we still had these. We've got XP banners. We've got energy. Brilliant. That's gonna get through a lot of this game. Um. Right. Okay. So, because our main champion that we're gonna level up is Magic Affinity, we want uh, to find a stage which has Spirit Affinity, so we can kind of have an advantage while we're doing this. So this one's perfect. Let's take her out. Um, get these champions in there. We could level this champion up as well. Uh, so things are going to go a little bit slower as you start off. You might not be able to like fully clear this dungeon uh, straight away. But you know, give it a few a few rounds, see if you can like take them out. Because what you want to do is you want your main champion to carry the rest of the team through. Um, so, yeah, they can die, but you still get experience for all of them, uh, which is gonna level them up and make them a bit stronger for the next time. We got some levels from there, brilliant. And that's it. You just want to keep repeating this, leveling up your champions, making them stronger. Until we can pass the next stage. So we have she survived this time as well. So as we're getting stronger as well, these uh, stages are gonna come quicker and quicker. So yeah, not straight away, but after a few few rounds. So, same we go with these champion champions as well. If you've just ascended a champion, you can use your XP uh, bruise to level them up a lot quicker. To give them a bit more of an advantage, a bit more of a head start. Um, but generally, we've got energy, we've got our XP banners, so uh, might as well do it this way. So you get the idea of this, we're basically just bringing our other champions back up to the same level because they're going to be more powerful and we should be able to push through another few stages. Um, but what we also want to concentrate on is while we're doing this is kind of leveling up food. Um, these champions that are going to be fed into these other champions. 
We want to be grinding up more of these so we can turn these three stars into four stars. And we want to start off with Kale. Um, so, you know, as we are getting those two up as well, we could just be working on throwing some uh, some one stars in there. Two star. Um, let's just get these guys up for now. Um, I'm just deciding which one to put in there. Um, yeah, so just leveling up food. Ideally, you want to have three uh, food champions. Once that, you're never going to really use in the game. You're just uh, leveling them up so they can empower other champions. But I don't think we're going to make this this uh, this round. Definitely not. It's not ideal. We've still got a bit of experience. But um, if you get to a situation like this, you just want to go back a few more stages until you're at a comfortable level where you can manage to take them out. So we kind of like... Uh, probably want to go back further than this. Over to here. This is probably the next best one that we could maybe do. Uh, I'm not seeming too confident in that. Um, yeah, let's throw these guys in. See if we could do this one. Should be able to. And we are doing this one with a lot more ease. Uh, the trade-off is uh, faster times, but less XP. So this one's leveled up, so we could take this one out, which is going to increase the XP given to these two. Okay, we might as well replay this until we get these champions maxed. brilliant and now these are maxed as well so we've got these champions that we can uh here yeah, rank up this is us we're just ranking up our food so we can you know, empower more champions so again we've got our one star max a level 10 we want to use a one star level one to upgrade it to a two star um you know the champion that you're feeding into that one can be any level you can use a, a max level one if you wanted to, but that's just wasting experience, uh, wasting time and experience. So the level ones, we haven't touched them, we're not wasting any energy on them or any time leveling them up. So it's safe to use those ones. Okay, and we've got some two stars. Um, so we might as well, we've got this one at uh, two star max, so we might as well bring this one up to Restart. Okay, and that's going to be a food champion. Um, so we need to get two more of these to be able to turn one of these into a four star. So we're going to go for Kale first. So we've got one three star. We could use this guy because we're not using him. Uh, but I think we are going to summon, use some summon shards. And kind of decide from there what we're gonna 
used to upgrade our champions and what we're not going to. Uh, so I'm going to leave this video here. This was kind of, um, you know, leveling up your champions, going over a few of the a few of the features that we've unlocked at this stage. Um, what we can do. Let's uh, check out market again. Hasn't refreshed yet. Uh, market refreshes every hour as well. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that was just a brief explanation. In the next video, we'll go over the portal in a bit more in depth and summon some champions and discuss whether they're useful or whether we could just use these as food to empower our champions. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found any of this useful at all, please click, click that like and subscribe buttons. And hopefully I'll see you again in the next video. Take care, guys.